You can shift something, right? Without thinking about it, but then at a certain place the fretboard ends. want to show you how I would start a gentle practice routine and I have been exploring some books and checking out some stuff and then I realized it helps me to start with something simple so I took just like one bar that's on page three the first row um, of a root to root cycle a cycle of fifths right so a complete cycle of fifths and I just want to share with you how I would work with one thing and how I would try to ease myself into practicing. I know in this exercise I'm going to have to play all like dominant seventh chords in all keys. So I'm going to start with the one that will be one of the hardest to me. That's the G flat seven. I'm going just to record it on my, on my, on my freezer. I'm going to record myself a G flat seven sound and I'm going to take the time to explore <laughs> this dominant seventh mixolydian sound for quite a while. So this is the chord that I'm using. line on my guitar. And I know if I'm in a place where I'm feeling low and it's really hard for me to decide what I'm going to practice, that's sort of the biggest issue and I also know from experience that the most important thing is to get started and to get the fingers working because if I just play anything and I feel like the fingers are stiff I, I'm just not in it it can be quite frustrating so I'm picking something in, in this case this etude because you know I can practice it as a technical exercise but it's also a technical exercise that has a musical sense like practicing cycle of fifth right and then I'm setting my metronome on a really like slow tempo and most importantly I'm setting a timer to 10 minutes because I know that I will need to force myself to stay with that exercise for 10 minutes because one of the uh, one of the thoughts that come up is like this is not the right exercise this doesn't make any sense and I know I just have to play for 10 minutes doesn't always have the same tempo but the same thing so that I can sort of peel a grape right to get a little bit deeper into the exercise and also into my guitar playing so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to have a timer try to have a nice sound good time
sequence I discovered that the first note always is the root of the chord so it starts on the C on the C7 and then it goes to the F7 B flat E flat A flat D flat so while I'm playing this sequence, I'm trying to think about the chords, right? And the next thing that I'm going to do is to play this sequence one time and then improvise one time and going back and forth between it. just to play some chords so I will play a chord that I like and then I will <laughs> try to play the next chord and just find voicings that are close to it and I can record myself some roots right I'm going to do that in a minute but now I'm just like going to pretend there would be some roots so C7 start with this chord I like to leave the top note F7 Next chord is B flat 7, so I still can leave it. E flat 7, A flat 7, D flat 7, I have to leave it. G flat 7, B7, E7, A7, D7, G7. And again I could just like write down those chords and practice them as an etude but I also can improvise those chords right play it a little faster <laughs> shift something right without thinking about it but then at a certain place the fretboard ends so it's a good idea to think about this place and yes C7 F B flat E flat A flat D flat G flat B flat and then you have to jump to the E and then the chords look different but yes that's how I would practice something like this it's just one small snippet and I would like to write that down and come back to it. So I hope you have some inspiration and some ideas how you can practice if you're feeling in a rut. I personally think the most important thing, start with anything, but with this one thing you stick, don't throw it away, set your timer to 10 minutes and look what happens. Let me know how you're doing and I see you around. Bye.